now we're back to why in the morning this is tuesday entrepreneurship as we we're saying earlier with barry moses so we are so glad to be here because what we do on this particular day is talk to people who are doing various businesses and doing various things to put food on their table and kind of just survive in this uh, world without entertainment us uh, so, eh, in this world without employment <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy that you guys have tuned in. Remember that if you want to talk to us, you can do so on our uh, social media handles. That's Facebook and Twitter, Y254 channel. And on Instagram, that's Y254 underscore channel. We are in DSTV channel 376. And we want you guys to actually watch us and please subscribe to our YouTube channel as you do so. Today, we're talking about a makeup artist. She's here with us on set. Her name is actually Betty Kajira. And we're so glad to have her. We're going to be learning a few things. Me, I need to learn a few things about makeup I'm a very I'm new at this very new at this so glad to have you Karibu sana thank Ms. you for Kajira. having me mm -hmm. it's a pleasure to be here okay yes. yeah so yeah I like your makeup look by the way thank you, you very do look much beautiful. <laughs> thank you I woke up very early in the morning to really? be presentable today <laughs> you have to market your business so if I came here not looking presentable people wouldn't trust my work <laughs> That's very true. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of like um, getting your hair done by yes. someone whose hair is messed yes. up. Yes, and I talk about it all the time. You go to the salon and the person who's about to do your hair, you are questioning. Mm -hmm. You look at the hair first and I'm yeah, like, exactly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Even nails, it's the same thing. Same thing. Yes. So you have to I have to be a walking billboard of my yeah. work. Yes. You, have to be a you have to present yourself. Literally, this is your work. Yes, this yeah. is my CV. <laughs> this is your CV. I love how you put that. Yes. Yes, and it's a beautiful CV and Thank I think you. you're great at Thank what you, you do. Thank you very much. It seems like you've been doing it for a while how long have you been doing it I for? I have but professionally I started doing makeup December 2016 professionally but I grew up in a family of all women so everyone was putting on makeup and lipstick so as a child I was always curious about these things but professionally December of 2016 so mm -hmm. it hasn't been that long oh maybe that's where I went wrong I grew up in a family of men I'm, men. <laughs> I'm the only girl then, I encounter a men, lot so of maybe brides. this is why I encounter a lot of clients who didn't grow up doing makeup so it's their first time but i guess it comes easy when you've been in a family where you've seen these things uh -huh, okay and um you said that you professions that in 2016 yes. and that your family and everyone they're kind of they're into the makeup scene yes. and stuff yes. so that means that they support what you do they do my sister is now learning she actually now has the desire to learn she wants to learn how to do a brows and all that my mom comes to me sometimes to my eyebrows to this Yes, because uh -huh. when you now know how to do it professionally, then people want to learn more. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, sour, sour. And I've seen that you're tight with your family because when you sat down, <laughs> you were looking kind of agitated. You're like, Hoo. and I'm, hmm, something's wrong. Because <laughs> yes. this young lady needs something. You're like, oh, oh, there's a young man who's at the gate and I'm yes. hoping that he can come yes. in. I was yes, like, oh. yes. In my head, I was thinking that's probably her PA or maybe uh, no, someone no, no, for no. marketing or no. someone to take photos <laughs> for of the, of the interview. Yeah. No. And then he comes in and you're like, oh, it's my cousin. I'm yes. like, oh, that's really sweet. I kept on thinking, who will I invite? Because I did not want to wake up in the morning and come here alone. I needed some motivation. You couldn't drag one of your sisters? Uh, my sisters have to be at work. They would ah. love to be here, but they mm. have to be at work. Right. One is with the kids. I'm sure they're watching. So he's the only one who was available, and I'm happy he is here today. I see. Yeah, yeah we're glad to have him. Yes. But back to you. Yes. Back to you, madam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The work of makeup artistry. You know, here in Kenya right now, it's taken off, and I think that um, there are a lot of people uh, who are doing makeup, even on YouTube, and there's yeah. this, um, there I can even, I think there's one who I'm who I was I was watching the other day. Her name is Maxine Wabosha. Wabosha. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and yes, and so I was thinking to myself, well, this is great. We have so many people coming up, and also some of your videos are on YouTube. Yes, and I believe that's a photo of you, is it? Or, yes. Yes, it's the start of a video posted it's the start yesterday. Of a video. I'm uh -huh, trying to okay. be consistent and post videos probably every week. Uh -huh. Yes, great content because I think everyone is now learning their makeup from YouTube. Mm. I could say I was I knew about makeup, but I've really advanced my skills from YouTube. I see. Yeah. I see. Okay, well, um, in this particular video that was posted yesterday, I did watch it and it was focusing on the eyes. Yes. And what you did was kind of do the eyelashes and the eyeshadow yeah. and different kinds of things. Yes. Um, maybe the first thing, and you're showing people how to do, you picked a shade and everything. Yes. Can we, what is first transition color? Most God, people this, who this sounds like <laughs> chemistry. <laughs> Rocket science. As in, I watch, I'm not kidding you. I watch these videos mm -hmm. and I, I get frustrated watching them. I'm like, why? Why is this so difficult? The thing is this, you need to find uh, a YouTuber who connects with you. Mm -hmm. 
there are YouTubers who create content for there beginners. Is Jackie Aina. Big oh yes, I'm a Jackie Aina person. But she doesn't create content for beginners. Yeah. So the people who create content for beginners whereby they take you step by step. This is what you're supposed to do, followed by this by that. Yeah. I tend to be the sort of makeup artist who is just so showing you looks. So I won't tell you what to do step by step, but from looking at it you can create something similar to this. So I'll go step by step, pick every color and anything that you have in your house, you can use it to create a similar look. That is what I try to achieve with my channel. Because we can't all have the same palettes. If I'm going to something that is expensive and you don't have it, you're trying to achieve the very same thing. It needs to be easy on everyone. Whatever you have, the type of palette you have, you can just achieve something that is similar to this. In this video, I chose to do the eyes because mm. I feel like people... What, what, was that, what was that first transition color, please? The first transition color is a color... It's, it's like a base that you're going to build on colors. I really can't explain it if I'm not doing the makeup. If I show you, you understand. But what people do is that with eyeshadow, you just layer on one color. Like you choose today, I'm going with gold. But what you do when you're doing this professionally is that you use an array of colors that complement each other. Like on my eyes right now, I have the same transition color. I have glitter on my eye. I have black to smoke it out. That's why you need a makeup artist time to time. When you have events and such things, wow. when you can't do it on your own, mm. that's why you need a makeup artist. I see. Yeah. And is this something you went to school for? Is it something I that you just learned? Didn't. It was just in your I hands. I just learned. I, yeah. I was actually telling my family, I think I should go to school and maybe just get certified for it. But it's something I learned growing up from my family and then mainly for in, from YouTube and just practicing and practicing. Yes. I see. Mm. All right. Well, um, we've talked about what a first transition color is. Yes. And maybe you can tell us a little bit about brushes because yes. I hear that brushes also get complicated. They do. And I've seen like a set of brush being unrolled. Yes. <laughs> it's like a red carpet, like brrrr, like, like brushes. And, everything and, has and, and we're like, we're going to use all this. And she's like, mm -hmm, we're going to use all of them. I'm like, no, how? For what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why aren't we using two or three? Yes. So let's discuss about the brushes a little bit. Brushes, we have a lot of brushes, but the yeah. main brushes I would say you would need a foundation brush is key. Okay. A foundation brush, and then you need probably a powder brush and then you need a spoolie. A spoolie is used for your eyebrows when you're combing your, your little brows up. So a spoolie would be nice. You can find a spoolie that is double-ended. It's a spoolie on one side, and it's an angled brush on the other side, so that it cleans up the concealer on your eyebrows. Mm -hmm. So that is a number three. Number four, you would need a fan brush. This is for your highlight. So the places you're highlighting, it gets into those areas very well. Mm -hmm. And then number five, I would say you need two blending brushes for your eyeshadow. So for one for placing and then one for blending in your eyeshadow. So if you're not maybe doing the full thing, six brushes will actually serve you very well. But as as makeup artists, we know that this we can use up to six, five brushes on one lid an eyelid. I've seen that. Yes. And that's, we know and that's this why, yeah. caters for a specific area. If I'm going into the tear duct, I know there's a specific brush that will get into that area well. If I am going into the l bottom lash line, I know there's a brush that will get into that area well. But if you're new to it, just six brushes will serve you. <laughs> six brushes will, yes, because what you're saying about the tear ducts, you the what, mm. the crease, <laughs> and, as in People, I think men, even men, may not yeah. understand how complicated it might get. Yeah. You know, they look at us and they're always complaining, like, what's up with you? You know, like, know. Yeah, makeup. Yeah. <laughs> but at the, at the end of the day, it's, I think it's a beautiful result. It is. For, it it's is. a very beautiful result. It is. And as much as they love cars, this is our thing. This is like, our thing. just understand it. We yeah. don't get on your back about um, cars and football. Yeah. Makeup is our thing. Well, yeah. It's not my thing. I'm trying to make it my thing. <laughs> I'm slowly learning. But, Learn. but yes, I, I realize you talked about the different um, kinds of brushes when you're discussing that. When I saw that video, yeah. I saw a fluffy brush, and yes. then I saw one which was kind of flat. Yes. Okay. On the on the eyeshadow for using for the yes. eyeshadow yes yes the fluffy brush is what i'm calling the bl blending brush so ah. once you place your product on your lid you need a brush that is fluffy yeah. to work it into the area you want it to go to so if you're doing the crease that brush is what is going to blend it into the crease but then there are times when you're picking up product 
just picking it and placing it on the lid, especially when you've created something we call a cut crease using concealer. So if you want a, a pigmented and shimmery color maybe on the center of your lid, you won't require the, the blending brush. You'll require a flat brush that will pick up your product and just place it on the lid. I see. It's that technical. <laughs> but yes, I don't want to make it sound technical. too serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. I see. And, um, you know, uh, well, maybe we can talk about the YouTube videos. Yes. Why did you start on them? Did you find that, um, and I understand simply it could be because people right now, YouTube is a huge thing. Yes. Everything's on YouTube right now. Yes. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it on YouTube. Yes. If you're, if you're eating, you guys must say, they even videos of people eating, like shoving food in their mouth. Yes. And <laughs> we're supposed to sit there and watch you do that. Yes. But I respect when people come in and do work on YouTube, on YouTube like you're doing. Yes. Yes. And so how, how long has your channel been up? My channel has been up, I think from 20, 17 right I posted some things back then and then I decided YouTube is not for me I decided I'm not the type of person who wants to be known I used to watch people like Wabosha like you've mentioned she started out with like 2000 when I started watching her and then she'd say oh, I went to the streets and Wait, someone noticed me uh, today oh. and they said hi I'm a very introverted person so the thought of that scared me away from YouTube but my sister and my friends kept on pushing me and to telling me people are making a living out of this. So this is your passion. Yeah. This is like your portfolio. When you go to a client and they ask you for a portfolio, this right. is your work. You right. can show it through this. Right. And through YouTube, you get clients, you get to teach people. That's when I decided, I think it's been two, three months since I've been putting up content con co continuously. And I think it's something I've decided. Like you can't sacrifice what I love to do, my passion, just because maybe someone will recognize me or I feel my privacy will not be in my control anymore. Mm. So yes, since 2017. But mm. this year I decided to fully take it on. I see. Yes. And who are some of the people that you wish you could work with um, uh, in the makeup world? In the makeup because world. sometimes I see collabos yes. of makeup artists yes. doing stuff together. Yes. Who are some of the people you'd like to collaborate with? If I was to say internationally, I would say Jackie Aina because I watch her a lot. Yeah. A lot of the things I do, I have learned from her. And I think she has good content. She's very energetic. She's yes. yeah. I love her personality and the makeup she does. Mm. If I was to say locally, I think... And she's finally made it because right now, I think last week she was shooting in Vogue. And I was like, oh, my girl made it. She's she in Vogue yes, magazine. She even has collabs of foundation yes. now. If I could get to that level, mm. you will, girl. Life. You will. I will. Mm. I will. And people really under underestimate this this business, you know. Really? And I love how people are opening up to, to see that it can take you quite, quite far. It really because can. at the point, I think once you get to do makeup for um, uh, celebrities or something. I think your world does blow up. Yes. And so I think it's a not it's not limited as people think it is. It's not, it's not just on just doing makeup for weddings. Mm -hmm. not, there's a lot you there's can do in lot this that you world. Can do. And it can take you so so far. Yes. Mm -hmm. With someone like me who is in the field, I think an aim, the main goal is to get to a place where you can have your own makeup line. So it's not that too. Don't just see it as something short term doing makeup for weddings and this and that. That is that's where you start off. Mm. Then I create content for YouTube. But the end goal if you can create something that is of that is your own your own makeup line because with us dark skins I would say there are a lot of brands in the market but not too many brands focus on the dark skin people I go to buy makeup for clients at times and you really have to struggle to find something that is their shade mm -hmm. and even when you find something that is their shade the undertone is wrong maybe it's too orange it's too red it's too gray mm -hmm. so if I was to get to that point where I could create something that focuses on the black woman and that would be you'd, you'd just be set yes i would <laughs> i see mm -hmm. this is i think this was your first this video is, i think my first video i pulled it up because i wanted you to tell us how you've grown yes um i thought it'd be important because we've done two things yes. we've gotten your very first video and yeah. the video that we played earlier was actually your your most recent video recent, that was yes. yesterday's video yes. and so the reason why i chose those two is because i wanted you to kind of point me out mm -hmm. what are some of the differences you've seen in yourself do you feel like you've grown from how you used to do 
makeup here to how you've done makeup in the other video. Yes, I clearly have the type of brush <laughs> I'm using. Oh my God, your example eyebrows number are one, I wouldn't use the type of brushes I'm using. Uh. Two, I am using eyeliner on my eyebrows. I wouldn't do that. Okay, some of the things like the concealer I'm using is the same thing. So some products still remain like they're good. But I think the technique, the eyebrows are very different. The setting, the type of camera yeah, I was eyebrows using. Are too much, huh? Yes, they're very dark. They're mm. very, 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 very dark. But even the setting, I've tried to upgrade and use maybe professional things. I was just using my phone at this point. I had a small, um, what's it called, a tripod stand, my phone in front of a window in the living room for lighting, yes. <laughs> so step by step, you, you do. start investing into these things and you start buying equipment that will elevate your type of videos. I see. I see. It's very well, strange to watch go. this. <laughs> oh my goodness. How do you feel? How do you feel when you look at this video? I wish there are things I could change, first of all. Yeah. <laughs> I wish there are products I would have uh, learned a little earlier. But I think everyone has a starting point, and this is not too bad for where I started. That's perfect, because that's exactly where I was headed. Yeah. You know, today is, it's, it's Tuesday Entrepreneurship, and one thing people don't understand is, as an entrepreneur, you're going to change a lot. The way you do things in the beginning is not going to be the way you do things in, let's say, one year afterwards. Yeah. Um, the, the, the things that you learn, the, 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 the I guess, expertise that you take on your, on your journey in that one year or two years or whatever, yeah. it's really, really different. Yes. And so that is actually the same basis for every single business. I don't think there's a business where day one you're perfect at it. Yeah. Oh, you know everything. And one year later, there's nothing you've changed. Mm -hmm. You're just the same as day one. Yeah. If, if that's the case, then I'm afraid there's no progress. Yes. Because you must progress. Yeah, you must grow. Yes. And I'm, I'm glad that you're proud of yourself. I'm glad that you've seen the things you can point out. Because another thing that makes people efficient entrepreneurs and efficient business people is to know um, where they've gone wrong. Yeah. And to point it out for themselves, being mm -hmm. like, oh, ah, this is where I went wrong. Or yeah. I, should made a, I shouldn't have made a deal with so-and-so or I shouldn't have used this color, mm. whatever, you understand? Yes. And so I think you're on the right path. Yeah. Um, maybe we can, we can talk a little bit about products yes. because as we were saying, Kenyans are really into makeup right yes. now yes. and uh, we're all trying to learn. Yes. And there, it, it can be expensive, mm. it can be expensive. Um, like, like whew, it can be expensive. It can. I think I entered a Mac shop at the hub <laughs> um, I was like I was crying inside. Mm -hmm. I was crying inside at the prices. I was just like, "How?" Makeup is an investment. Wow. Let me tell you. Yes, Makeup is, is an, an investment. investment. People expensive. come to my house and they see the collection that I have, which to me is nothing compared to where I want to get to yeah. in terms of the collection. And people ask me, in fact, my, my cousin was asking me this morning, if someone came to your house and only stole this box, I'm sure you'd go to the police and to the CID. I said, yes, because that is my lifetime investment. Mm. What you do is that instead of buying, I feel like most Kenyans prefer maybe the counterfeit makeup just because it's affordable but you do not put into consideration the repercussions that it has what are some of those repercussions people if you go online and you search for the things people suffer from from these things from swellings and acne and all these things even black spots what i tell a client is that do not focus on covering up your skin if you're not using the right products you'd mm -hmm. rather not put on makeup and keep your skin healthy and flawless. Right. But if you are going to put on makeup, make sure you're putting on makeup that isn't going to damage your skin. Because yeah. some of my clients have gotten to the point where acne is so severe, they have black spots, they have redness and all these things. Now they you feel they like need to layer really? on even more to hide this. And I tell them detox, take a detox from makeup because you're using the wrong products. Get your steam, skin to a healthy place, invest. Save up some money where you can buy. You buy these products bit by bit. I didn't wake up one morning with a hundred thousand and bought my uh, collection, which probably costs a hundred thousand. I saved up little by little. Today I bought foundation. Tomorrow I was able to afford concealer. Next month this and that. And over some period of time, you realize that you have everything and you're using the right products for your skin. But honestly, when I also started out, I used to go to 
I see, I hear people call it Dubois now. I don't know if it's Dubois or Dubois it's Street. It's Dubois. <laughs> Dubois. It's Dubois. I'm glad that people are saying it right. I used to, you know how you cringe? Uh, <laughs> eh, hey, Dubois. I was like, oh, cringe. It's cringe. Dubois. Yes. Okay. So uh -huh. I used to go to Dubois, which I still do. I wouldn't say I don't. I do. There are things I buy there, like the technical things, the brushes, things that do not really have effect on the skin. Mm. You find me buying the brushes, the sponges, things that I feel are a little too expensive, but I can find an alternative too. But when it comes to products that are touching your skin like I foundation like and powder foundation, primer foundation the powders the concealers even the um, there was one time that in Dubois when I was just starting out I didn't have the money to do it I bought an eyeliner there and the swelling that it brought to my eyes my eyes were so swollen I did a cut eye Waking up in the morning, I washed it off. I was swollen. I had wounds all over. I'm not saying all their products are bad. I'm sure there are people who would swear by them. But just be cautious with what you're buying. Brushes and things, tools. I think tools. Buying tools there, no problem. But buying makeup, just invest in the right things. And let me tell you, they last a really, really, really long time. Mm. When I buy makeup, it lasts me probably not less than a year. So that 3,000 shillings, that even 1,500 shillings will last you For a really a small long time. Box yes, a long it time. will last you a very long time. Mm. Yes. I see. Mm. I see. Um, I think now we can move to uh, what our producers had put up before. Uh, so I've understood what you've said about the investment in makeup yes. and there were photos where you've done makeup on people. I yes. saw like a little bit of artwork on somebody's shoulder. Yes, yes. Um, I actually do both. I'm both a makeup artist and I do body art. A makeup artist and body art. Yes. Did you do makeup for these ladies that I have been did. shown here? I did. This was a baby bum shoot. So this was her friends. Oh. Yes. So yes. we went somewhere, did their makeup. Yeah. Mm, I see. And um, what about the, so this is your work as well? Yes, this is and my so work. And so you do this and then they go for photo shoots? Yes. Ah. Sometimes a photographer will reach out to me, like this was a particular photographer that reached out to me and said, would you be able to do this body art on someone? I said, yes. Talked about it. He got a model, did it, he shot it. Yes. I see. So at times it's someone who wants their makeup done who reaches out to me at times it's a photographer it just depends i see yeah. that one's quite pretty mm -hmm. ah, i see with a brown little ah well <laughs> i think you're quite talented miss thing thank and you and i have to ask you now that you're into body art as well yes like we said makeup is a large field it if is. only people could understand it is it is large and there's a point where um for example the guys who even, uh, these Game of Thrones people, mm -hmm. the guys who even make the White Walkers costumes, mm -hmm. that's also a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Let me sit here and nod my head, though I am part of the 1% that doesn't watch, watch Game of Thrones, so I have no but, idea. What but you, but yes. you may understand, yes. um, maybe in something that you have watched, yes. uh, you're part of the 1%, I love that, <laughs> maybe in something that you have watched where, where um, something looks quite gruesome yes um that's also done by makeup artists it is, it there's is. a lot you can do and i hear that these people spend up to seven hours just to create a certain yes. costume on somebody's body yes they have to take it off the next day yes do the same thing the next day yes take it off do the same thing the next day yes so Imagine it can be a quite demanding work. job that is why i chose the line that i'm in because i'm in the beauty side of makeup and then there's the effects side of makeup i am curious to maybe try it out and see what it's all about but I am aware that it is a lot, a lot of work. Yes, yes. And, and are you interested in kind of, now we, now we can kind, kind of talk about how you want to broaden your horizons, yes. yeah? Yes. What, what do you want to do with your skill as a makeup artist? Right now you're doing face and body art, yes. Yes. but ultimately, what are you trying to get to? Are you trying to make up your own body line? Are you trying to work with celebrities? Yes. Are you trying to do makeup um, uh, for costumes in movies? Yeah. What is it that you're trying to I get to? I think the one thing I see on TV and I'm like, I think I could fill that gap. I see Kenyan uh, content like movies and shows that we create. And I tell myself, I wish they would invest in a makeup artist. And I started telling myself, That's instead true. of just saying that at the comfort of my home, I would try and maybe reach out to, to these people because the content is good. But I think the moment you come to the screen and we see your makeup, we know this thing is local. We know it wasn't done professionally. Sometimes I look and I'm like, this is a wonderfully written show I know. with wonderful actors. I know. The story is nice. Yes. The but what is, is wrong good. with your eyebrows, yes. honey? Yes. Yeah. So that is the one gap if I would feel, mm -hmm. I would be happy. Because I feel like we are getting to that level in terms of the talent and the, the 
the, the movie itself. But in terms of investing in makeup and such things, that is where we detect very quickly that this is local Loco. content. <laughs> Even in terms of our music videos and such things, I see people trying lately, but that is a gap that I would really love to fill. And then obviously, I would love to work with celebrities, but I feel like that is a market that people have already gone into, which yeah. I do not mind. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing that our celebrities are embracing professional makeup artists, that when you're going to an interview, when you're doing your, your, your video, you see most of our musicians right now putting on very professional, decent looking makeup. But I think the movies are yet to get there. And then if I could work outside the country, that would be really that good. That would be really me. good. Yes. The time and again, I find people DMing me maybe from Uganda, from Nigeria, to maybe do something together on YouTube. So if I could broaden my horizons and go outside the country, that would be mm. a good achievement. Mm. Yes. I like your goals. I like your goals. And it seems like you've set something up for yourself. Yes. yes. And that's important. Mm. And um, we don't have much time. Maybe we can just quickly talk about uh, one, two things. And then you can give your social media handles. Yes. And then we can let the next person come in for the interview <clears throat> but uh, now that you've talked about broadening your horizons yes. I was watching YouTube again mm -hmm. I do love YouTube and there's a challenge going on yeah. where uh, people are <laughs> in different parts of the world mm -hmm. in different parts of uh, yes in different parts of the world yes. people are going to the worst reviewed makeup okay. artists yeah, okay. They get it recorded. Of course, they don't tell the person that. Mm -hmm. They're just like, oh, I want to do a photo shoot. Mm. So the person does their makeup. They get it recorded. They mm -hmm. post it. And they're like, I went to the worst makeup artist in Ooh. Nairobi. And then they do a challenge for, I went to the best makeup artist in Nairobi or whatever, mm. or Dubai. I've seen it all over. Dubai, London, so the one for South Africa cracked me up. Mm. I have <laughs> never laughed so hard. I should check it out. I, please <laughs> go and check. I you will. will laugh. I will. I'm still laughing. Hopefully I don't find any of my work there. <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe in the best category. No, no, no. I, no, you do your work quite well. Oh, yes. ah, when I say worst review, <laughs> that's a word, Ashinra, you'll just be like, what? What are these people doing? to these poor, poor, imagine. poor customers. Yeah. It's a very interesting thing to watch. Yeah. And so what you also kind of get is the difference between um, what I feel I got was, was um, the range yes. in makeup artists. Yes. I was like, the people who believe mm -hmm. they're actually makeup artists, but it's yeah. just not working yes and then there are those who it's really working for them yes and i think it's really working for you yes, and i really you. believe that you're going to go quite far with what you're doing thank you very much and lastly mm -hmm. um please can you share your social media handles and if you'd like to shout out your family even your cousin when i'm a, I'm a kitty, you, call, you can <laughs> shout out anyone that you'd like and also uh, let people know how they can reach you so okay. that you can go and do the makeup for them okay so maybe i would start by saying a huge huge thank you when i got this invitation I was very happy. These are the type of things I want to now start doing, getting myself out there to be known. Right. And my social media handle is at Kajira mm -hmm. underscore oh, Betty. That's your camera. Mm -hmm. That is my camera. So at Kajira underscore Betty. And then my official uh, Instagram handle is enhance underscore Be beauty underscore space. So enhance beauty space. Just separate them with an underscore. And then on YouTube, I am known as Kajira Space. And then uh, we decided to gift two of your viewers today. So anyone who is maybe has a wedding or an event, if you go and follow my YouTube, my, my Instagram handle, and you like and subscribe to my YouTube ch p channel, you stand the chance to get a full makeup courtesy of me. So tell your friends to tell your friends. Subscribe to Kajira Space and follow us on Instagram. I mean, we'll give two viewers a full makeover, be it for a wedding, a photo shoot, whatever it is. Ah, I yes. see. Ah, okay. So you guys, you know, you stand to get something. Yes. Just by watching, just by watching, is it? Yes, by subscribing. You have by to go to Kajira Space, my YouTube, yes. subscribe to that. Mm -hmm. And then to Instagram, Kajira, enhance, sorry, enhance beauty space. And I forgot to say my highs. I think ah. I'll say my hi to my family, our kids, my friends, and my church. Oh, okay, so, so. Yes. that's wonderful. Thank All you. right, well, you've told people how to, you guys have to go and um, subscribe. subscribe to her on Instagram and YouTube. YouTube, yes. And 
you know, there are some things that you are going to get yes. following, isn't yes. there? Yes. Thank you so much for coming, Miss Kajira. Thank you very much we for having me. We have had a wonderful me. time. Me too. <laughs> I have learned some things about makeup. <laughs> I hope so. I can't say I love it, mm -hmm. but I've learned something. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'll continue to practice. Okay. And I have to hope you have you as my client one day. I shall come. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I will come. Okay. I shall come and you can tell me a few things as you also. A tip. Yeah, yes. Give some me tips. a nice look. Yes. I can't wait, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. And Thank coming you. up next is actually Mr. Barry Moses with another interview on Tuesday Entrepreneurship. Do remember that you guys need to watch this particular show so that you kind of learn on the different things that you can do instead of sitting at home waiting for employment. Because right now, employment is pretty scarce. But here, we have business people coming here. They've done a few things with their lives. They've come on set. They're talking to us about the things they've done. And it's just amazing. Thank you so much for coming once again. Do stay tuned.